Hair loss is often a symptom we associate with men, isn't it? It's almost even expected for men to lose their hair as they age. But when this symptom affects women, it can have a much different effect. If you're a woman who has ever woken up to a pillow full of hair, or every time you shower, you see clumps of hair coming out in your hands, and it has started to affect your self-esteem, your confidence, or maybe even your connection to your feminine identity, then I can't wait for you to watch this video. Today we're talking all about female hair loss, why women with PCOS seem to experience this symptom, and most importantly, the steps that you can take to not only reverse your hair loss, but to watch your hair start coming back in. So stay tuned. Welcome to Jennifer Bago TV, episode number five. I'm Jennifer Bago and I help women with PCOS and endometriosis to reverse your symptoms, take back your power and live life on your terms. Now, if you're new here, consider subscribing because each and every week I share tips and tricks to help you heal. Today we're talking all about female hair loss and this is a really important topic to discuss because it's often considered taboo. It's a symptom that's often associated with men, but if you're a woman who's ever suffered from this, then you know that the impact can go far beyond the physical into the emotional. There can have, be a deep emotional impact from women who struggle with hair thinning and hair loss. So I wanna to start today where I always start, and that is getting into the true root cause behind female hair loss. And in order to do that, we need to go internally. There's no external lotion or potion that's gonna address the the underlying root cause of what's causing your hair loss. So we need to go inside and we need to start with our adrenal glands. The reason your adrenals hold the key to stopping your hair loss is because they control the production of adrenaline in your body. And it's really the overproduction of adrenaline that is at the root cause of your hair loss in the first place. And I'm gonna explain why. So your body produces adrenaline and it's mostly used, it's mostly supposed to be used to get you into that fight or flight state. That means that when you're faced with a life-threatening situation, you are given almost superhuman power and speed to be able to get out of that life-threatening situa life situation to keep you safe. However, this adrenaline was never meant to be used on an everyday basis. It should have been used, it should be used like about 5% of the time. But because we live on planet stress, if you're like everyone else, you live in this go, go, go mentality and society. And because of that, you produce adrenaline every single day. You produce adrenaline to help you cope with the stress that you're experiencing every single day. And this adrenaline production can really take a toll on the body. Specifically today, as we're talking about hair loss, it can take a toll on your hair follicles. The second way that you could be overproducing adrenaline is in response to um, emotional stress or duress that you might be under. So if you are someone that is experiencing a lot of emotional turmoil, your body will be producing adrenaline to help you cope with that. So that can be a second way. A third way that you can be producing or overproducing adrenaline is by eating a diet that doesn't support your adrenal glands or your energy upkeep. So if you're not eating to be able to support your adrenals and fuel yourself throughout your day, then your adrenals are gonna produce adrenaline to do that for you. This constant production and overproduction of adrenaline can take a real toll on your body. And in particular, it can damage hair follicles, causing existing hair to fall out, but also inhibiting the body from being able to produce and grow new hair. So this is the real reason that women experience hair loss. It's also the reason that women experience hair loss after childbirth, because it requires an insurmountable amount of adrenaline to birth a child. And that huge surge in adrenaline is actually the behind the root cause of why women experience hair loss and hair thinning after childbirth. Now that you know the underlying root cause behind hair loss, let's talk about what you can do to stop hair loss and also support your body to grow new hair, which is what you all want, right? So the first thing that you need to do is manage stress. All right, there's no if, ands, or buts about it. If you experience hair loss, you need to manage stress. You need to find a way to de-stress and reduce the amount of stress that's in your life. That, that's number one. Number two, if you are under a lot of emotional duress, I encourage you to find a way to acknowledge and feel your feelings 
but then let them go. Let them go through you because holding on to them and staying in that state is going to cause you to produce adrenaline and it's going to cause your hair to fall out. Number three, you need to understand how to eat to support your adrenals so that your body has fuel so that it doesn't need to use adrenaline to fuel your, your activities. The way that you do that is by eating every couple hours. Your body needs a constant supply of glucose to be able to run and function and energize itself. Otherwise, it's going to produce adrenaline. So if you're someone who likes to go long periods of time without eating or long periods of time in between meals and you're experiencing hair loss, you need to stop doing that. You need to start eating every couple of hours to be able to support your adrenal glands to have fuel to energize you throughout the day so it doesn't have to produce adrenaline. If you're looking to continue this discussion, I encourage you to come join my Facebook group called Women in Flow. It's a place where we talk about symptoms like this and many more that affect women's health. It's a place for you to connect with other women experiencing similar things as you and it's a place to get your questions answered. So I can encourage you to come and join our tribe. And I hope you found this information helpful today. I hope it gives you a place to start to start overcoming hair loss. And if you did find it helpful, I encourage you to share it. Hit the share button, share it with your girlfriends. The more women we can help, the better. I also want you to join the conversation. If you have tips and tricks that have helped you to reduce hair loss, I want to know about them. So share them in the comments below. Thank you so much for joining me today and I'll see you on the next episode.